Yep, the first five seconds are of my boobs. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, y'all. There, that's better. Like this? Nope. YouTube says no. It says no. You chose an orientation. You have to stick with it. What's that, Casey? Get out of here. Not you, Casey. Get all this crap up here. How do I get rid of this crap? Hang on. Shit. Okay, so. <clears throat> Hi, Casey. Hello, Casey. How are you, Casey? All these little things came up. <laughs> All these things came up. And I don't know how to get rid of them. But hey, look at that. Thrifty Falconer's wife. Hello, Rebecca. Ooh. I don't know how this stuff got up here. I look enlightened. Why, thank you. Always or just now? How about normal? Ooh, how about beam? How do I get rid of it? With the strobe lights? But how do I get rid of it? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> okay, so that's never happened before. Hi, Casey. How are you, baby? Yes, you were first. Watching me and Barbie? She's so sweet. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Thrifty Falconer's wife. With the strobes. Yeah, I, I, I have serious road rage, Casey. <sighs> well, Casey, I want to add... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I want to add to the prayer list for tomorrow. And I always seem to be in a meeting or somebody's at my desk or something at 11, I swear. Um, but um, 11 o'clock seems to be so hard for me live. But I so need Bible study right now. I so need by at least to listen to it. Um, <clears throat> Casey, if you can add my husband Tom to your prayer list. When I got home today... I knew something was up, and um, my husband lost a very long time. Like, he knew this friend before he knew me kind of thing. You know, a 30-year friendship. Um, he lost a friend today uh, to a very long-time illness. Not that long. I mean... He's been sick, but it just hit him really hard um, recently. And his friend passed away this morning. And my husband was planning to go see him today. Um, and so he's taking it really, really hard. And, you know, as you know, um, in any relationship, when the person that you care about hurts, you hurt. <clears throat> and it just plain hurts to see the person that you care about hurt. And, um, so, we have had a rough night. My husband cooked this amazing meal for us. And I knew something was up, but... 
Um, he didn't want to talk about it. And I knew a bomb was going to drop, but I didn't know that it was going to be that. <clears throat> but, um, sorry. So, <clears throat> as I fiddle to avoid the emotions, um, thank you, Thrifty Falconer's wife. I appreciate that. Um, so, Casey, I'm going to try really, really hard to be in in Bible study tomorrow at 11. Um, really, really, really hard. And I really need to make more of an effort. Um, Mary, my husband lost a very, very long time, very good friend today to an illness. And he planned to go see his friend today um, after he got out of work at 1230 and his friend passed away um, this morning. So he didn't make it to see his friend and he's pretty tore up about it. And um, he would not appreciate me sharing that. <clears throat> but I hurt because he hurts. And I believe in a prayer chain. And I believe that people out there care about me. And because they care about me, they care about my husband. And so... Thank you, thank you, Mary. Thank you, baby. Um, you know, all the light and love that you can send our way would be appreciated. <clears throat> and um, will hit my husband, I'm sure it will. And yes, Casey, the power of prayer is a glorious thing. Katie and Vicky did you know, a good thought chain. I don't want to say prayer chain because they didn't pray, but they did a good thoughts and well wishes chain for my mom several times. And, um, you know, thousands of people praying for my mom. Hi, honey. How are you, Tanya? Um, thousands of people praying for my mother. Um, when I went up there that night, this was a Sunday, when I went up there that night after the first prayer chain or <clears throat> good wishes chain, she knew who I was. She didn't know who I was for a week. And then that night, after all of that, um, after all the thousands of prayers that I got from everybody that night, she knew who I was. She didn't know who I was for a week. So yeah, prayer does work. So if you can just send that light and love our way, that would be wonderful. It's going to flow through me. And then as I comfort my husband, it'll flow into him. So um, thank you guys for that. And that's the only reason that I mention it. Um, is because he's hurting, I'm hurting. And um, Scrappy. Um, yeah, I know, Mary. It, it's hard. It's really, really hard. Oh, thank you, Casey. I appreciate that, baby. I know you will. But okay. <clears throat> so, excuse me. For those of you who are counting, this is my third time live today. I did a live on the way home from work that Casey thought was just funny because... I stopped for gas on my way home. I was on fumes, like zero. If you watched my live coming to work, the last couple minutes was me looking at the odometer or the gas gauge, praying, literally praying that I make it to work because I was on zero miles. And my gas stick, you know, the meter was below E. And, um... I did make it to the gas station after work, thankfully. <clears throat> Hi, Anna Mora. And I got gas, so I was in a different direction. So I... Oh, I was just fine, Vanessa. So I was on a different road that I'm not familiar with. And I thought, I'm going to see if I can get home without the GPS. And so I had made a comment about, oh, I hope I'm on the right road. And... <laughs> Apparently, Casey had thought that was funny. I don't know. I, You know, I knew I was headed in the right direction. I just didn't know if I was on the right road. If that road was going to lead me to another road. But the GPS never spoke up. So, yeah, it was the right road. It was the right road. So, but okay. 
So you guys. Uh, hi, Chick Picker. How are you doing, honey? I popped into your live a little bit this morning, but I was a stalker. I mean, I was a lurker. I was just, I was just a So I didn't even say hello. I didn't even say hi. Because you saw me? Okay, well that's good. Because I get so freaking busy at work and they've got me bogged down with the work of several people. And it's like, anyway. So. Shop Goodwill. I got this one. I got two shipments coming. Hey, get your head out of my garbage. Come over here and lay down. Come on, lay down. I've got one of the pugs in here with me right now. My husband's watching the Michigan State game. We just watched an episode of Celebrity Big Brother. And now he's, um, I know, baby. I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Really, I am. Hi, Crystal. I love you, baby. Hey, Crystal, I'm just going to tell you real quick. Because um, you just got here. Uh, and you know me fairly well. My husband, um, I just I want to ask you, and I don't like to ask for things or prayers for myself. You know that. Hi, Destiny. You listen too, baby. Um... My husband, Tom, lost a very, very good friend today. A friend that he has had for 30 years. And um, he was going to see him today after he got out of work. And he passed away before my husband could get to see him. And um, my husband's very tore up about it. And so if I get a little emotional today, we've had an emotional evening. And, uh, I asked for prayers, not for me, but for my husband. Um, and he would, he would be so upset that I even mentioned it. Um, but I know if your love flows through me, it's going to flow through him as I'm holding him tonight. So, um, I know, baby, thank you. And, you know, I get upset because... <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this is the same towel I used to clean shoes. Uh, but that's okay. Yes, when they hurt, we hurt. So, <clears throat> thank you, Tanya. I love you, baby. You know I love you. I love, I love you all. So anyway, shop goodwill. I got two packages. I mean, I got one today, but I, I won two auctions. And the one auction, I wanted one thing out of the auction. I wanted one thing. And the rest of it, I'm, I'm going to list. And then the other auction, there's a few things that I wanted. So, and I think this is the auction that had more things in it that I wanted. So, now, Barb... Uh, going on Grumpy always says where her shipment comes from, so I'm going to do that too. Because uh, Barb, going on Grumpy, is a professional. Therefore, I must be a professional. Um, so, <clears throat> this package came from South Bend, Indiana. What are you doing? You want to go out? <clears throat> so sorry about that. Calm down. <sighs> yes, this, my room is changing. As you can see, the lovely white shutters that I've screwed into my wall for absolutely no reason other than for you to look at. <clears throat> So anyway, <clears throat> all right, so 
wrapping paper. Barb is so critical of how they... Yes, Chick Picker, my room is evolving. I spent all weekend on my knees and not in the good way. I was on the floor moving the tables, moving the moving everything. I moved my shelving unit that was over there. That is now over here. And well, look, my room's not done yet, okay? My room's not done yet, but if you follow my Instagram, then you saw the the total destruction, but this will be the office area. Okay? That's the going to go up on the on the wall. There's my TV that I watch boxing on when I'm in here. This is crap. This is my good drawer. This is some of the stuff I just got from uh, Picking Treasures. Can you see? Okay. Anyway, my computer. There's my laptop. My messy desk. I'm not done, you guys. So don't be, don't be, don't be hating. I have to list this heated bowl. I missed my opportunity for that. But anyway, so here's my big shelving unit. Okay. There's my little shelving unit that used to be over here. And I still have crap all over my floor. But that's okay. It's it's coming along. That's I'm gonna watch it right here just a second. But I watch my own show. Yeah, see that's not bad. That's not I mean if you saw this room before you would know, honey. I had myself blocked in here so bad. <clears throat> okay, so Barb is very critical of how everything is shipped, right? So, and I did not get an invoice. But anyway, so I still have to do the little things, okay? I didn't show you underneath here. I have got boxes galore. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of my staples boxes under here. I've got four and a great big bin under here. So this is the reason that I moved my sewing desk out and I put this stuff in. So this is how it's wrapped. I got a lot of good stuff in here, you guys. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. And I've got one big bag. So, and I did not get an invoice, which really upsets me. Because this is a tax deduction, and I didn't get an invoice. And I didn't pay very much for this. I think I, yeah, it is like Christmas, Mary. I think I paid $10 for this. And then I think I paid like 6 bucks. So it was like 16 or $17. But you know some of the things that are in here. So, hi, Dream Big. Thank you, baby. Can you do that? I can just print my my purchase receipt. So, all right. <clears throat> so the first thing that's popping out at me is this. Now this I was not a fan of, but it just was in here. And I couldn't see everything that came in here because this was like in a box, so I could, I could only see like a few things. So this is not marked. This is like that, that snake-like stuff that you just want to play with in your hand. Don't put that on my knees all weekend in that statement together. That would not be a G-rated thought. But anyway, so I've got this. It's very, uh, I don't know, Cleopatra-ish looking. It's in good shape. I mean, there's no scuffs or anything like that. I'm sure it's it's kind of it's got that little stretchy. Is Anita Fanita in here? Hi, Leticia. So, I mean, this would not fit my womanly neck, but I'm sure somebody's going to love that. And then we have this. Okay. I could actually wear this. This is one of those 
Boy, you would think my big manly hand would be, like, doing the trick. Check it out. So, I have this. And that is very pretty. And you know what? This, which does not have a maker, but bends, because it opens like this, would fit my womanly neck. I could actually wear this. Hi, Callie. I really like this, you guys. I don't know what it looks like on me. But I could wear this. And it's very, thank you, Tanya. It's very light. It's like I don't even know that I have it on. And, ow, I scratch myself. Oh, my owie spots. My fibro is really sensitive there. So I could stretch this out like this because it bends. And... It still will stay on. I like that. It's not digging into me. It's not going to fall off. Oh my gosh, you guys. I would have never pegged myself. Does it look okay on me? With my... My sporting wear. Thank you. Oh. But I need to be careful. Is Val in here? What name does Val go by? Is that Chick Picker? Yeah, I really like this, you guys. I've moved from gold to silver, but I really like this. I'm very impressed. So, mm, mm, mm. oh, it's okay, Crystal. You go, honey. Oh, I'm fine, baby. But we can talk later. You call me, okay? You've got that beautiful voice, so. Ooh, Kelly, you did a workout, a karate workout. Ninja moves. I have ninja moves. Kelly, if you don't know, Kelly the Ecom Mom does karate. Karate. So this is what this looks like on here. I have like 20 of these. Because what happens when you go into a jewelry store before eBay open and you buy two sterling silver chains, long chains, um, that they're clearancing out? I could never wear this. Um, and then you ask how much all their displays are, and they promise to sell them to you. And then um, they just leave them in a box outside and call and tell you that they're all yours for free. I have a gin ginormous box of this kind of stuff that... I need to get listed. So that's pretty. It looks pretty. I could probably list both of those together because they're similar. Okay. Let's do some bracelets because there's a lot of bracelets right here. Really bracelets, Batman. What is that? All right. So we have this bracelet. I have quite a bit, you guys. And this is kind of stretchy. But I don't know that I'd ever want to put it on because I think I'd break it. But it's got these little funky, sexy biker studs. Yeah. It's actually kind of pretty. It's got the white stones in between. And it, the the uh, gold tone beads, they're metal beads. They're not plastic, they're metal beads. Maybe they are plastic. They're, they're cold though, but that could just be. I think they're plastic. But that's really cute. I mean, it's heavy. It's got some, some weight to it. And this is, okay, I'm not gonna lie. You all know I love Monet, right? 
I love Monet. And this is why I bought the whole stinking bag, I'm not going to lie. So I got this bracelet. Okay. I love a nice gold metal link looking um, bracelet. Okay. I love this kind of clasp right here. This kind of clasp. And I didn't think this was a Monet. I didn't think anything in here is going to be named, to be honest with you, that a lot was so cheap. But I really like this bracelet, and I'm going to attempt to put it on. And it's kind of neat because I didn't know if it would be all one piece. But if you can see, each piece, see the links? How can I do this? See the links are each individually linked together so they're all separate links so that gives movability to it okay this is the test you guys did you hear it did you hear it oh and it's moving it's moving so happy look at that oh okay now so thank you Casey most people would not find this to be to their liking in this day and age but for I just love and this actually looks like uh, canned cheese swirls does it not like you took a can of cheese whiz right like like it was on sale for $3.99, right? And you had a dollar fifty coupon and you figured for two fifty that's still expensive, but the shit is so good. You just gotta get it because you know it's never gonna be two fifty again. And you just take the whole can and you squeeze it, and then you just lay crackers out because you don't want to waste a bit of the cheese whiz, and you just like that in the line. Uh that's what this looks like. Get a close look. This is a big line of cheese whiz. Makes me want some cheese. Isn't that what that looks like? So, this will be my cheese whiz bracelet. So, well, yeah, I guess you can see. My cheese whiz bracelet. This was why I got this. This was the one thing I saw that I, and you feel the, hear it? It's got some weight to it. I claim victory. Okay. And then we have this that's got a regular clasp. Oh, regular spring clasp. And it's plastic beads. But very pretty. Ours are so very pretty. These look like they're, these almost look like they're paper beads. But they're not paper, but I wouldn't call them wood. But it's pretty. I don't know if that'll fit me, but it's pretty. I wouldn't pick it specifically for myself, but it's pretty. And this is a stretchy bracelet. Just some gold plastic beads with some blue and it's got the square beads with the round blue beads. This will definitely go in a lot. Your daughter has borrowed your jewelry, Kelly. Well, that just means you're hip too. If your kids are borrowing your jewelry, that means you're hip. Oh, wait a minute. This is a separate bag. And it's got matching things to this bracelet. Oh, they put all the earrings in a separate bag. They put the necklaces and the bracelets. Oh, here's a ring. Check that out. Really kinky? What's really kinky? It's too small for my fat finger. 
It took about a week. It took me about a week. So check this ring out, guys. I have one exactly like this that's real. But this is really pretty. And there, it's marked. It's got a mark in it, guys. But it's got baguettes and it's got round brilliance in it. I know it's blurry. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Well, Casey, I don't think this one would fit you. What size fingers you wear? I mean, what size fingers do you have? <laughs> Thelma could wear this on one of her fingers. You know, she wears rings all over the place. I wear wombo size too. This is an eight, this is a nine, and I think, my, I would like rings for my middle fingers, but I think they're 11s. But this is a really pretty ring. It's too bad it doesn't fit me. I wonder where my loop is. Now, because I've been taking care of things, I probably don't know where it is. And I don't know where anything is right now because I don't know where anything is right now. And I probably should have had my loop before I did this. Crap. All right. <clears throat> Look at, this is one of the things that I got from um, Sherry, Picking Treasures. Isn't that beautiful? You can't, probably can't even see it. Let me hold it up to the, can you see it? Isn't that pretty? And it's got the, see how the, the color changes on the wings? You can kind of see. It's really pretty. See it? Okay. So. So, okay. Earrings, you guys. This is what I was kind of freaking out about. My Cheese Whiz bracelet has Cheese Whiz earrings. Look. Whoops. Cheese Whiz earrings. And they articulate also. I almost put these in, but then I remembered safety first. I will not wear the Cheese Whiz earrings. For a minute, I thought they were extenders. Oh, yes. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Oh, you like my Cheese Whiz earrings? $50, they'll be yours. So that was really nice of them to put the earrings in one bag. So then I got this bracelet. Hinged. Which means I could wear it if I so chose. It is a cream with gold raised studs. It's a very sexual lot. See the... See him? Don't focus on my face. It's just Goodwill. Shopgoodwill.com. Shopgoodwill.com. There's that. And then there's these. Oh, these are all connected. Like, are you supposed to wear these together? Apparently, you're supposed to wear these together. Oh, I'm getting them on. Oh. His flipping mama's getting some bracelet on. See, it's got this little connector. And then there's two gold tone and one silver. And then they can flop around, but they won't fall apart because they've got this movable thing right there. But how cool is that? I'm so fashionable. And then look at this, you guys. Oh, this comes apart. 
Oh, it comes apart. I might be able to wear that. I have this bracelet. There you can see. Pretty colors. Pretty, pretty colors. Oh, yes, my darling. Oh, yes. I would like to try that. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, yes. Just a minute. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, you like my bracelet? Oh, yes, I paid hundreds of dollars for it. I did. Oh, yes, I did. Uh -uh. You guys don't know what it's like to be a big woman and then have jewelry that you can actually get on. Just check it out, okay? All right. Moving along. Okay. So this is metal. Just a regular spring clasp. I am going to be live as long as it takes me to get through this jewelry. So maybe another 15 minutes? Why? I'm going to talk about the, the Kelly and Tommy show. Don't worry. But this is metal. Really thin. This is, this is not too weighty, but it's... It's got some really nice uh, design. What do you call it when it's lacy looking? Casey. You gotta wash your mask off. Go wash your mask off, Destiny. Or just do it in front of the computer. You do everything else in front of the computer. Or when we're on the phone. Just do it in front of the computer. And then if you get it wet, Tommy has no choice but to get a new computer. Casey, what do you call it when it's when it's got holes in it or it looks lacy? There's a word for that. Anyway, this is kind of cute. And this will fit me. I feel like I need a bright light just like shining right behind the phone. Christy's got chili. Christy, you were fixing that chili at 530. Okay, you guys, these are very small, and I'm going to do my best. This might take 15 minutes right here. I always have to put big things on just in order to get my arthritic fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I put that nasty thing in my mouth. Nobody knows what's been in my mouth. I'm sure I've had nastier things in my mouth. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I could wear that. That doesn't look too terrible. Filigree! Thank you, Leticia. I was asking Casey, but he must have bailed on us. That's okay. I love you, Casey. Filigree. Thank you. Well, I think we can see pieces that I plan on keeping, right? I think that's probably quite evident at this point. Oh, you did? Oh, Casey, I'm sorry. Don't give Mama a sad face. I'm going to go back up. I gave Casey shit and he threw it back in my face as he should have. Studs and spikes. Where's the chains? Woot woot. I'll show you some chains. I'll show you a chain, Casey, that I got from... I should have did a haul when I got Sherry stuff. No, you don't give me poop. No, you don't. You're a good boy. Nope, this is my double chain bracelet. This I'm using as a double chain bracelet around, you know, a double wrap bracelet around my, my wrist. It's 
beautiful. I got a bag of Monet, 90% Monet, and mostly Sarah Co and a couple Sarah Coventry's from Sherry. And I didn't do a haul. Where is that chain? What did I do with it? Here it is. And this is the necklace that I wanted to wear this morning that was a Monet. Look at that gorgeousness. Casey, look at this. Look at this, you guys. You know I love Monet. Is that not freaking gorgeous? And look how long this is. This is from Sherry. Right? You know I'm all loving that. And then this is the, the chain that is for you, Casey, because you asked for where the chains were. Look at this. This is almost like a man's chain. I've got some heavy-duty pendants, um, but this is really thick. I mean, this is a this is a thick chain. So we had the studs and all that stuff. You wanted to know where the chains are. So there you go. And then I got this. Okay, so I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, now it's a party. I'm not a fan of this, but I liked everything else in, you know, some of the other things. But this is a giant lobster, lo lobster, lobster claw, which I plan on keeping because, like I said, I like big hardware. Um, but this chain is, it's like, um, I was just reading a book uh, at Barnes & Noble Friday night about making jewelry out of, uh, the loops. My memory's gone today. But anyway, this just reminds me of that. But it's a really long chain. And then it's got a big circle and some beat up pearls. Big hardware. Yeah, Kelly. Some of these are in nice shape, and some have scratches on them. And, I mean, they're not too bad, actually. I may just end up putting this in a lot. And just leaving the, the big hardware on it. So, not really my, my style. And then, I did kind of like this. I saw this. I really like a nice tea closure. And this is the opening to it. Oh, even if I could restore them, Casey, I don't think I would. Hang on. I think Grandma Josie just popped in. Oh, Barb. Hi, Barb. I was talking about you at the beginning of this. This is a Goodwill haul. And so I was talking about how I didn't get an invoice. Liquidation King, hello. Um, The name of my eBay store is Hip Flippin' Mama. Yes, you, Barb. I was talking about you. Along with my Instagram that is Hip Flippin' Mama. Along with my YouTube that is Hip Flippin' Mama. Along with my eBay that is Hip Flippin' Mama. Along with my Poshmark, which I don't have anything in, which is, guess, Hip Flippin' Mama. And oh yeah, if I ever decide to do Macari, it's Hip Flippin' Mama. And oh yeah, my Etsy store, should I ever put anything in it, is Hip Flippin' Mama. But... I, I don't know. I thought, well, maybe this fits me. Maybe I would wear it. It's a larger chain. And then, of course, um, the accent to it would be the actual closure. But I don't know that it would fit me. So, I don't know if it's going to fit me. It appears to be a 16-inch. Well, my, I have a ruler right here. Hi, Dia. How are you, my love? I'm just doing my goodwill.com. Oh, no, you guys. 
It's 19 and a half inches. So it's like 19 inches that should fit me. Right? Yeah, check that out. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's got some weight to it. All right. Well, Casey, you were talking about the chains. Here's some more chains, baby. I don't remember these in the box. Check these out. A triple strand of chains. Hi, Tommy. No, Tommy, I'm not going to talk about that yet. You just wait. And then it has this clasp. So it has the clasp that I like. I don't know if that first one will fit me. I don't know if I would wear three chains. I don't know. Have to play with it later. And this one's really heavy, you guys. This has got some weight to it. It's little but mighty. And then I got this necklace. Okay, now a statement piece. So I gotta say, you guys, for the, the small price that I paid for this, I'm pretty happy. Why, are you gonna send me junk mail? Liquidation King, I hope not. I hope you're gonna subscribe and stay in love, Mama. Ooh, I bet you that's pretty, Casey. I'd love to see that. So, I don't have a lot of jewelry in there, though. I sold most of my jewelry, and I only have one piece in there right now, and it's a little girl Avon. I have to list my jewelry. So, if that's what you're going there to look for, I'm sorry, it's not there yet. But I'll get there, babies. I wanted to have a specific spot for smalls, and to shoot my jewelry, which is one of the reasons I redid my room. So, all right, so this is a high maintenance necklace, okay? Clearly, but look at that. What do you think about that? This makes me think of my Lakota heritage. You too, Rosie? Did that make you think of our Ancestry? Hi, Barbie. Barbie, does this look Native American to you? You would know. Hi, Kimmy. Yeah, check that out. For anybody who, who may not know, um, Rosie's Closet, um, Crystal and I, are both Lakota. I think this is gonna, oh my word, you guys. Nothing ever fits my neck. You guys are my good luck charms. Now you have to wear the right thing with this. But the fact that it fits my neck, but it's going in a lot. This is not something I can normally rock. Not all the way. I cheated. I gave a tour earlier. I cheated. It's still messy. I have not cleaned everything up. But it's functionable. So, okay, we've got that one. This is the last neck... No. Second to the last necklace. I don't know what it is with these, you guys. Um, This is... Got the double shell pendants. Well, you didn't miss much, but I stripped naked, Destiny, and did a little lap dance for my monkey. That's all you missed, so you didn't miss anything. But look at this necklace I got. I'm not going to fix it all, but... Isn't that pretty? Does that not remind you of Indian heritage there? So then I got this. And this is just little, um, what do you call them? Sand beads or, you know, the really tiny beads. And these are just um, 
mother of pearl looking beads. They're not mother of pearl. They look iridescent, but they're they're like a, a taupe color. I don't know what that's called. But can you see that? I'm not a fan of this necklace. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful for somebody. Seed beads. Thank you. Seed beads. Oh, this has got an old clasp. Or it could be an old clasp trying to look like a new clasp. I think it's a new clasp trying to look old, I mean. But this has got really pretty plastic beads with really pretty gold beads. That's pretty, actually, you guys. I could maybe actually see myself wearing that. Oh, you did, Christy? I saw I got something on Messenger. I'll look at it just a minute. This has got some really pretty gold beads on this. But yeah, this will go in a lot. Okay, so that was it for, for necklaces. So I got this watch. And it just says 12. And then the lines for the 3. And the 6 and the 9. But it's see-through. It's kind of cool looking. It's actually kind of cool looking because it's see-through. And it works, guys. And it says stuff on the back. It says stuff on the back. All stainless steel back. K. C A Y. 1016G, that must be the battery number. But that's that's pretty cool. That's definitely sellable. Yes. It is very modern looking Anita Fanita. Anita Fanita. And she is so beautiful, Anita Fanita. You think it's from Lane Bryant, Mary? I'll have to do some research. Barb likes it. Okay, guys. Well, here's another watch. A fossil watch. That's very pretty. And it's actually got a clasp like this, so it may actually fit me. Because, as we know with my manly features, nothing ever fits me. Except for, apparently, quite a bit tonight. Yeah, this won't fit me. It says, as long as you don't shut me, as long as you don't clasp me, I will allow you to wear me. And it has an extender on it. And it still does. Well, I can close it, but it's not comfortable. Guys, I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Every time I want to take... I got it off. Okay. All right. Now, I don't want anybody to get excited. Where's my loop? These are marked, too. How did I think I could do this without my loop? I think they're Sarah Coventry. But, Casey, don't be getting too excited. Actually, if you wear them in the right way, they don't suck. They're clip-ons. I wonder if you can wear them like this so that this goes in the back like you could wear it up here. Up here. Or up here. I don't know. But anyway, those clip-ons. And then I got these lovely loops, which will be going in a lot because I don't do loops. I really don't do pierced earrings. These are in great condition. So someone's going to love those. You like the first way, just the regular clip on? Yeah, they do. You know, I think that's what she said too. Is this going to be? <clears throat> I'd like to welcome you to the hip flipping hour. And on the hip flipping hour, we focus on calm and 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, they do this. Except I don't have nails. <laughs> could you imagine? I could do a screaming version. Okay. So then we have these. And these are clip-ons and screwbacks. ASMR with Mama Kelly. Yeah. It would be called uh, Babe Shut Your Damn Mouth by my husband. So, yep, these hurt. But I could probably unscrew this. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, Blake Carrington, I have a phone call. Just a moment. Yes, Crystal. You're a wench. Blake, start the car, honey. That's what I always think of when I think of clip-on earrings. Joan Collins on the on the phone. Oh, oh my. Oh yes, my. We have these. Which I can see these as many things. Earrings aren't one of them. Yeah, I could I could see this as a pendant. That would be a beautiful pendant. Okay. I could see this as a brooch. Maybe even possibly. No. Yeah, maybe. Not as earrings though. But somebody might like them. And then, oh yes. These are ceramic, all right? Don't get it twisted, people. What, these? No, these are just painted. Or are you talking about these? Did you see these in advance? Are you psychic? This is painted ceramic. Hi, Mike. Mike Tyson's now to my left. Did I did I show you him in the in the brief twirl? Cloisoni? What is cloisoni? Sounds like a medical condition. This is cloisoni. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Can you tell that I'm not under my light? Cloisonne. 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 That almost sounds like I'm saying hello in Japanese. Cloisonne. Konnichiwa. Ohayou gozaimasu. Cloisonne. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Kanlaisa ne you. <laughs> Come here, boy. I'm gonna kanlaisa ne you. Okay, and so these are plastic red, uh, what do you call that one that's made to be looking like a faceted yeah so nothing fancy i don't see marks in any of these earrings and actually these red ones have ear jam in them <coughs> yeah those might be just hitting the garbage Test all my plastic for, you know, I have not seen anything that I thought even looked like Bakelite. 
Kloisa Klois Kloisi boy. Boy. Cloisonne. Cloisonne. These are just little tiny pearl buttons. Just like Casey's little nose. Just like Juji's little nose and Oh, no, it was in a bag. It was actually in a box. I bought it all in a box, Barb. Er. What is your name, Curly Head? Uh, Ten of Hearts. Now, you know I know you well, and you know I love you, but my brain is riding this struggle bus, and your name is... Your name is Bethy. It happens, you guys. Get yourself some fibromyalgia and you will see what it is like. And then I have these enamel pierced earrings. I'm so sorry, Beth. These don't appear to be by a maker. Beth, you know how much I love you. You know how important you are and how much I love you. You know that. If, if you don't know, guys, Beth and I have such a close relationship that I forget her name. And also that she orders for me. Yes, she does. I like this ring and I'm so mad, as by the finger it is on, that it doesn't fit me. But I have gigantic hands. I could get it on. It's like past my knuckle. I could shove it right onto that sausage finger. But I don't know if I'd get it off. Thank you. Thank you, Bethy. And then I got these. Oh, I got two more things. I got these lovely little red. These lovely little red. Dirty things. And then I got this. This lovely gold tone brooch. That is labeled. And it is labeled. I don't know because I don't have my loop and I've got my contacts in. Can you see it? Can you make it out? I take a picture of it, but I'm using my phone to film. It probably just says China. longer than that I don't know where my big sexy helmet hat is either it's what happens when you clean I'm telling you I'm telling you don't go clean because if you clean then you can't find anything on my hemp oil Ooh, you hear that? That's the sound of forgetfulness in the Keizu. I actually got emails saying that my my shipments from Goodwill were going to be delayed, guys. So I didn't expect to get this. And then when I did get it, I certainly didn't expect to go live because I said I wasn't going live at night anymore. I'm on a tiny screen now, Mary Beth. Well, that's okay. You won't have any problem hearing me on a tiny screen. And my head is so big, you should still be able to see me. Listen. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see the jewelry that's coming off of this body? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I did very well, you guys. The fact that... And this, I have another box coming, you guys. I paid, I won this for $9.99, and then it was $4.95 shipping, and I think the handling was $3, so it was $8 more. So I think my total was $17 for this, honestly. So for $17, I am super happy. I mean, I... I'd love to keep this ring. It's got a it's got a mark on it. It's not a 14k. So I mean, it's not real. It's got a mark on it. Oh, you are. I'll help you with it, Destiny, when I get off here, okay, honey? I'll call you and help you with it. After I look at the picture from Christy. I can't make it out. I'm so sorry, you guys. I came so ill prepared. Bye, Leticia. I love you. So it says Avon. That says Avon. All I had to do was take my contacts out. This says Ginner, G I N E R. Is that a brand? Or is it Sinner? C-I-N-E-R. Is that a brand, you guys? C-I-N-E-R? Bye, Mary Beth, baby. Thank you so much for coming. Hit the thumbs up button before you leave, okay? Please. I'm going to hit the thumbs up, too. So, yeah, Sinner. C-I-N-E-R. Is that a brand, you guys? Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you so much for stopping, baby. I really appreciate you taking time out of your night, and I know it's like dinner time right now for everybody, and thank you so much, you guys, for sticking with me, and yes, I've got dirty jewelry hands, and I'm putting these contacts in and out with dirty jewelry eyes. I mean, dirty jewelry fingers. And why am I doing that? Because I'm crazy. And I'm sure Barb going on Grumpy is dry heaving right now. So I'm sorry, Barb. I just don't think about that. You haven't heard of it. You haven't heard of what, Casey? What have you not heard of? Oh, the, the brand that I asked everybody about? That I can no longer see? C-I-N-E-R? You guys, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this lot of jewelry. I think I'm actually going to keep... Yeah, that maker. I think I'm actually going to keep this... We'll see what my hubby thinks. But it's really cool. And I like the filigree on it. And it's, it, it's got some weight to it, but it's light too. So, I'll definitely be lotting these up. Oops. It was a great haul, right? And for $17, that's the processing fee and the shipping and the $9.99 that I won it for. I can't tell you for sure because I didn't get an invoice. But I could look on my phone, but I'm filming with it right now. So these are going to go. All the earrings are going to go. I'm not going to keep any of the earrings. Oh, I should have looked at the maker on this one. Sarah Coventry. Yep, Sarah Cov. That's what I thought it was. I thought these bionic contacts, because you can see far away and up close, I wouldn't need stuff like that, but after a while, your eyes get used to it. Get out of here. You'll make a killing off that. Off what? I'll make a killing off what? Are you talking to me?
You know, guys, these are kind of pretty. These earrings, I didn't show you up close. Those are kind of pretty. They're Sarah Coventry. And they're clip. Oh, no, I paid $17 for this haul. Or are you saying I could sell this haul for $30 plus? Is that what you're saying? Oh, and look. You guys, I'm really disappointed. I bought these these earring backs thinking specifically I could put my clip-on earrings on. But look how small they are, right? Okay? So, like, we all know clip-on earrings, vintage clip-on earrings are usually larger. And so I thought, eh, you know, I could put my clip-on earrings on there. No, that's not going to work, okay? Only one will fit on there. No, I only, I didn't get it for thirty. I paid seventeen. I won it for nine dollars, eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine. I won it, and then I paid, I think five dollars shipping because it just came from Indiana. I paid five dollars shipping. I was really surprised how cheap shipping was. I guess these fit on there, but not you know they overpower it. Um, and then I paid like a two dollar processing fee, and I've got one more coming that I believe I paid. $9.99 for. And about the same thing. I think that one I paid a dollar more for. It's got a lot less pieces though. It's probably got five or six pieces, maybe seven pieces, but it's got a huge metal statement piece for a necklace. And I thought, okay, I could probably sell that if it turns out to be, you know, as cool looking when I get it as it is in the picture. Um, you do, Casey. It's got some really neat stuff in it. But like this, you couldn't see this. This was in a box. They don't like take everything out. This just was in a square box. Probably this box right here that it came in. And um, you can only see bits and pieces of it. Now, the other lot that I bought, they had displayed on, you know, pieces like this. So you could see everything. But there were two chains in that lot that... Um, that I was interested in. So I bought the whole lot for two chains and figured I could make my money back on everything else. So, but yeah, I'm super happy. Um, I'll probably end up keeping this. I mean, I, I like the cheese whiz. Although if I end up, cause I have the cheese whiz earrings, you guys, what do you think? I have the cheese whiz earrings. I should sell them with the cheese whiz bracelet. Don't you think? You can't really split up the cheese whiz. It'll go rancid quicker. I should sell these together, but I kind of like this. And it fits me, right? Keep the whiz. That's what my husband said. <laughs> I am raunchy tonight. I'm sorry. It's only Casey because you're in the chat. You make me you make me want to be a bad girl so I can ask for forgiveness tomorrow in Bible study. D is really bad. So another you know another piece I may keep. I don't know. I really like this. Okay. And I think I'm going to keep these because they went in pretty good. And I really like this. I know I should probably research it, but I'm kind of digging that. And I have to try this on. I don't know what this looks like on me, but it's awfully heavy. It's cute though. And I may keep this. I don't know. Depends on what I have that will match it. And if my husband thinks it's sexy. Because I would only wear this when I go out with him. Or if I want to dance around a campfire. And do a hemblaka. Or a hemblaka. Do you guys know what a hemblaka is? It is a, uh, like a walk of manhood for Lakota Indian. 
it's the four day fast that they do and then they pray to uh, mother the god or mother the earth um, which is their creator a cloisonne cloisonne Clo cloisonne cloisonne um, and then they're, um, they pray to the creator and then the creator sends them a vision and then that vision will become reality. Okay. So I don't know about this. What did you guys think about this on me? I got to look at this up close to see what this looks like on me. But I mean, I, I may keep cheese whiz. I'm thinking really strong on the cheese whiz. And I'm I really like this. And I'm liking this. I'm liking these bracelets. This bracelet. Because it's really pretty, you guys. It's white with blue. And I got some really pretty um black with blue accented um Asian inspired jewelry from Patsy Craftsy, which I proceeded to break both the bracelet and the necklace the first time I wore them. But that really the the um the um would the thing I can't think of just you know pulled apart. It's not a big big deal, the little loop. So in these. Cause I can put them on with minimal effort. So yeah guys I think and I'm gonna keep this ring. I may sell it. Depends if I start losing weight, I'll, I'll probably keep it. I'm going to try this on right now. Thank you for sticking with me for those of you who have stuck with me. You guys, you know I all get excited if I find something that fits my fat neck. Or fits my fat wrist. It's just like that gal that's got the... Her name is Fat Girl Sewing. I'm Fat Girl Talking. Call it like it is, right? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, I had this twisted. As is everything else in my life. Okay, I think it goes like this. I'm going to try this, guys, and then I'm going to take my sweatshirt off. For full bosom me effect. I found, I was going to say, I found the clasp. That's a plus. All right. Is it too much? It's heavy. Do I have them laying right? What do we think, guys? I didn't do it right, I'm sure. What do we think? Are they outdated? Ah, Fat Girl Sewing, you're in the chat. I love you. I love your videos. I gotta start commenting on them. Hang on, I gotta look something up right quick. Hang on, I gotta see if I can get my messenger. And she's not even fat, that's the thing. She calls herself Fat Girl Sewing and she's not even fat. Yeah, I don't do a turtleneck, but a black shirt. You like that, Destiny? Thank you. Yeah, it, it's got some weight to it. Yeah, she's not even fat. That. Skinny bitches be like. Now I'm morbidly obese, so I can use the word fat. Okay, I don't know how to do this, so. All right, this is what's gonna happen. <sighs> Holy moly. I got a lot of messages. I love you guys. I just love you guys so much. 
you complete me. You complete me. I don't know how to spell it out. Do you really? Well, you care. You're way good, honey. I'm a 24 right now, and I need to get back down to a 22 because that's what I was before I took this last job holding a chair down with my ass. You're only five foot two. What's your what What's your uh, real name? My new sister Wendy I don't know look so I I look at myself as like the biggest person on the face of the planet when I'm walking around I feel like I should be a size 2 and like I can fit in these little tiny places but then when I see other people I don't see other people as big I see the skinny bitches as big as little don't get me wrong I see the skinny bitches as little Casey, you were a size five in women's. Honey. Mm, mm, mm. I am five, five. I used to be five, six, Christy, but for some reason now I'm five, five. And I'm 303. I have gained weight, you guys. I have gained weight. And... I did not expect to be 303 when I weighed, and I was. Oh, Casey, I'm sorry, baby. But I have been doing quite a bit of comfort eating when I eat, and I have not been eating multiple times a day. So that the yesterday and today, um... Yeah, Destiny, you look great. Yesterday and today, I ate multiple times. Not the healthiest of food, but I eat smaller quantities multiple times. Um, I've been going through a lot of stress. And, uh, yeah, I've not been taking care of myself, as you know. And I, I was not eating. I know, Destiny's yelling at me. Um, I know, right? Right, Wendy? I, um, it is Wendy, right? I did remember that right, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> when I had a really physical job at the hospital, I walked over 40,000 steps a night. I sweated my butt off, and which is probably why I was able to keep a 22, but I should have been, if I'd have been eating right and eating multiple times a day instead of, like, one huge meal, um... I could have been 200 pounds. I have no doubt. Um, now I just want to get to where um, I can drop weight. When I was off of work, I was, you know, eating more often. I was more active because I was up and down and up and down and doing this and doing that and, you know, going outside with the dogs and. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you guys, I'm thinking about this as a, as a bracelet. You know, y'all know I like to double, double wrap necklaces as bracelets. Look at that. Check that out. I like that as a bracelet and it matches what I have on now. I do this a lot because I have quite large wrists. Look at that. I just said I was going to sell this. But I love these gold beads so much. Yeah, I see a lot of 1Xs too, Wendy. What do y'all think about that? And I could even make it smaller. I can make it like that. That's rocking, eh? I don't know if that... those. I'd have to try it one time because... Um, you know what, Rebecca? I am menopausal, too. And I started menopause when I was 22. 
Um, yeah, they're really pretty, aren't they, Casey? And check out this. Um, there's different sizes of these, the gold beads that are in it. I wish you could get a better picture. Um, I'll have to snap a picture, a close-up, um, and send it to you. But it's just, and then there's a larger one, just stunning. I keep looking at these beads going, damn, those are pretty. Um, I want to get a nice webcam. But yeah, they're really pretty. I mean, I'm, I really don't like the faceted plastic beads. I'm not a fan of them. Probably because of how they feel against my skin and I have fibro. Um, but that's why I said I'd have to try it because just this right here bothers me. Um, but yeah, I really think this would be something I would put in an auction. Um, Casey, I'm thinking about doing an auction because I have so many jewelry pieces um, and so many vintage pieces. But... I I have to go through it all and see what's like high quality and and auctionable auctionable worthy. But I think this definitely would be, don't you think? This is really pretty and it's it's heavy. It's a quality piece. You know, and it's got it's got that old time clasp. It's labeled. All right, out comes the contact. I can't read it. You guys, I'm so sorry. I Wow, now I'm really curious to see what maker this is. Because these are really high quality. I'll let you know, Casey. But okay, you guys. Um, I have a little announcement. So I was talking to my hubby about... Lost my contact. All on the dirty jewelry. All on the dirty jewelry. Here, contact, 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 contact. You're a month long contact and it's not that far into the month. Come on, pretty contact, pretty contact. Oh, there it is. I really should wash this. I really should wash this, you guys. I mean, really, it just, you know, only someone with an immune disease would do this, right? Because I have no immune system. Whoa, and the chat lights up. Oh, thank you, Christy. You can tell me later what they said. Yeah, I agree, Christy. This is really grossing everybody out, and I'm really sorry. Hang on, just one second, you guys. I'm going to wash my hands real quick, okay? All right, so Aiden Fuzzy. Well, you know, in Aiden Fuzzy's defense, you guys, I was talking kind of raunchy. So maybe he felt like he was, he was welcome here. But you can tell me later what he was saying, Christy. All right, so my announcement. <clears throat> Excuse me. The bargain effect. Hip flipping mama calling the bargain effect. 
Bargain effect. Do you copy? Bargain effect. Do you copy? Mothership. Mothership. Products. I'm having trouble reaching bargain effect. He's not responding. Roger. Hey, flippin' mama. Calling. Last call. To the bargain effect. Tommy, do you read? All right, his loss. So, my announcement is, earlier, when I was driving home, and I, well, he missed it. He missed it. Tell him his ass should have been in the chair. Focused on me. Oh, he's in the middle of a deal. Okay, how, mu how much longer do you think he's going to be? Tommy talks a lot. He'll be forever. Okay. What am I supposed to do for a few minutes? You know I'm not very good at talking to people. You know I'm not very good at talking in front of people. You know I'm not very good at holding a conversation. What am I supposed to do for a few minutes? Does anybody in the chat have questions for me? Should we, could we make this informational? Should we, could we make this instructional, vocational, educational? Would anybody like to learn anything from me so that this may one day be monetized? Does it have to be educational to be monetized? I don't know. I'll never get there anyway, so it doesn't matter. What is everybody doing right now? What's everybody doing? Oh, Anita Fanita, I'm sorry, honey. Do you know what? I don't know how you can get rid of the flu, but I bet your ass is beautiful throwing up over the toilet. You are so gorgeous. And I'll bet you when your hair is all filled with puke, hanging in the toilet, dripping in the water, I bet you are still gorgeous. I really think you would still be gorgeous. But as for how to get rid of the flu, I don't know. Just hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Lots of hydration and lots of vitamin C. Baby, you gotta load up on vitamin C. Rebecca, you're photographing jewelry. <laughs> Send me some pictures of it, Rebecca, so I can see what it is. Is none of it marked? Well, tell them I want to make the announcement. Did they call him or did he call them? Because if he called them, boy, the deal is off. That's all I got to say. The deal is off. You know, the bargain effect and I were, were very close. And yeah, well, I'll bet you that cat is pretty damn gorgeous. And I'll bet you what he drug in is pretty damn gorgeous. Has, have you guys seen her? Anita Finita? I make fun of her name for a reason. I don't make fun of her name because I love to say it. Anita Finita. It just sounds so... It just rolls off your tongue. Anita Finita. Even her name is beautiful. Anita Finita. Maybe it's karma that you have the flu. Because you're so freaking gorgeous. And she has this amazing body. And this beautiful voice. And it's just not fair. Skinny bitches be like... They got the flu. Anita, I'm really sorry that you're feeling bad, honey. I am really, really sorry you're feeling bad. 
But I'm glad I could make you smile, sweetness. Yeah, send me, Rebecca, send me a picture of that, um, of that, um, some of that jewelry. And I will hep, hep you out. I'm not an expert. I want to try and go to, um, one thing really quick, you guys, okay? It's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. <laughs> Kelly and Tommy in the morning. Well, now the cat's out of the bag. You guys, I forgot my Facebook password. You guys can't find me on Facebook. Does anybody in this chat know my Facebook? No cheating. What is my Facebook? Do you know? I want to know who knows. Who are my diehards? Who are my diehards? I don't know my... Christy, you know my Facebook? Did you cheat? I'm about to get a text. Did you cheat, Christy? Put it in the chat if you know it. Nobody knows it. Because it's my real name. What do you mean I can't use that password? I'm really old, and I have fibro fog, and I can't remember all those. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, that is correct, but there's something in the middle. Oh no, my, my tablet's gonna die. Oh no. can't let my tablet die because I don't know if it'll charge back up I'm trying to look at that picture oh Christy oh my tablet died Christy that picture is beautiful you looked didn't you Anita Anita Fanita looked yep Kelly Lee Haggard it should be hip flipping mama shouldn't it I should make a Facebook called hip flipping mama and then delete everybody off of that and then make everybody Send me friend requests to Hip Flippin' Mama. It's okay you cheated. You guys should not know my first name, my maiden name, and then my married name. That's very, very personal. So I should probably get a business Facebook. Um, oh, this one, you guys. I totally forgot about this one. Totally gonna rock this one. Totally gonna sell this one. Forgot about those. Did you make a new page, Anita? Well, now my laptop's dead. It was dead for two years. Am I back on? Sorry about that, guys. Did your internet go out? The dog jumped down. Yeah, that's a really pretty green necklace, Christy. I really like it. All right, you guys. I'm not going to wait for Tommy anymore. So, I kind of let the cat out of the bag anyway. So, the bargain effect. And I, starting tomorrow morning. Hi, Rocky. Starting tomorrow morning. Oh, I didn't see you here. That you said you were here. I was like buffering, okay? And my, my laptop died, so I can't see my chat. Go ahead, tell them, Tommy. What's going to happen at 
6.30 tomorrow morning, Tommy. What time will it be? At 6.30. Go ahead, Tommy. I already have the song down and the pictures and everything. So tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. will now and forever be until I get sick of it. A live working chat between the bargain effect and who am I? Hip flipping mama. See, Beth, don't feel bad. I can't even remember who I am. It's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. Kelly and Tommy hour. It's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. I don't remember the rest because I didn't write it down. It was really good, though. I wish I'd have written it down. It rhymed really good, but I've got pictures in my head. And you have to make a video, a cool video intro. But the point of the story, it's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah. No, all I know is it's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. Destiny actually had the balls to type the Tommy and Kelly show. Mm-mm. Oh, thank you, Casey. <clears throat> I said, nope, nope. It's gonna be the Kelly and Tommy show. And then if we're on Tommy's channel, then it'll be the Tommy and Kelly show. And Tommy has to sing it. Oh. Nope, it'll be Eastern. So sorry, sucka. It's an hour earlier for you. Sorry, my beautiful Cleopatra woman. You have to get up an hour earlier and look even less beautiful. I don't know what to tell you, you gorgeous princess. Sucks to be you, skinny bitch. And you're probably even skinnier since you're barfing your guts out. Yeah, it will be 5.30. Isn't he usually up by then, Destiny? Isn't Tommy usually up by then? If you want to do in at least an hour, it's got to be 6.30 my time. Because I got to be out the door by quarter to, quarter to 8. And tomorrow, I probably have to be out by 20 to 8 because we're supposed to get ice tonight. So it's going to be very, very, very icy, which means it's probably going to take me at least an hour. I hear the president on the TV. This can't be good. Tommy, is 6.30 fine with you? Okay. 5.30 your time? All right, baby. I expect you to have that coffee. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to be up. We're going to be fasty. And I don't have anything to wrap so far tomorrow because I haven't been listing, so I didn't have any sales. But I can be cleaning my room, and we can be talking business. Yup. All right, guys, listen. Um, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to go check on my husband. So thank you for joining me. And I can't believe it took 105 minutes to do the jewelry box. Yeah, be there or be square, Christy. Let's face it. It's not all about the jewelry box, right? But okay, guys, listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to go check on him. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. Please, Mama loves you. And thank you for everybody who stuck with me the whole time. Me and the cheese whiz. Oops, that's my hair. At least it's my hair. Me and the cheese whiz say good night.
Mwah. I love you guys. It's Tommy and Kelly in the morning. No. It's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. 6.30 Eastern Time. It's Kelly and Tommy in the morning. Be there or be lime. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the morning. Mwah.